Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. Ta-da! <laughs> Hi everyone. Gosh, I hope you're having a great week. We're almost to the weekend. Just a little bit closer. Isn't that great? I'm looking forward to a nice quiet weekend. I don't have to go out and do shopping. I don't have any work to take home with me. So I'm looking forward to a quiet weekend. So welcome to all my returning subscribers. I really appreciate you so, so much. To all the new people that have jumped on the bus, thank you for returning and continuing to watch me and support me. And for those just driving through, I hope by the end of this video that you will consider subscribing, clicking the notification bell, eh? and giving this video a thumbs up because this is Tom Thumb. This is my happy little mascot, Tom Thumb, and he says, please give this video a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, no, 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 only a thumbs up for positivity. All right, today is hashtag mask a day, and I decided to do something a little bit different. So, as you all might have realized by now, <laughs> I pre-tape these, or pre-film them, or pre-do whatever it is I'm doing on my phone. Um the night before, and then upload it overnight at one megabyte per second for the next morning or the next day, or I wait till work and upload it on super fast <laughs> Wi-Fi there. And uh, so I thought, okay, let's do something a little bit different. We're still continuing on with the hashtag mask a day, but I thought, well, let's just show you how it, it kind of starts. So I'm gonna have to take off my makeup that I wore today, and the color of the day was blue with my earrings and my butterflies and my, eye makeup. And the first thing to do is, before you start doing your mask, you should really take your makeup off for the day and start with a clean face. And that's what I'm going to do. I've got a handy dandy Neutrogena Makeup Remover Ultra Soft Cleansing Palettes. Oh my gosh, they are super, super soft. I usually like the, the Simple brand or even the Perlice when I want to spend eight bucks on a packet of makeup wipes. But this I got because of the little vampire things. I just thought those were just totally adorable. And I have to admit, these are super, super soft. So I'm just going to take off the stuff from the day. I have nothing to talk about because I did not do anything with um, calendar a day um, to prepare anything to talk about tonight. So I thought, okay, let's just do something a little bit different. Now, I just, to quote Blade Runner, I just do eyes and lips. And that's it. I, I don't do any of the face stuff. I don't do the the foundation, the powder, the setting, this and that, the highlighter, the bronzer, the blush. I don't do any of that. And uh, this is just, just me. <laughs> so this is round one, is... To basically get the main batch of makeup off my eyes really and there's probably just a little residue on the lashes I don't have very thick or heavy lashes so the next thing I would be doing is a second cleanse with my cellar water and this is very bougie rhodial or rhodial um, dragon's blood cleansing water because it's got the word dragon in it and basically I think it's blood orange basically is the scent but it's dragon's blood cleansing water or my cellar water and I just took take um, a little cotton pad and just go over my face again what I liked about this one this one's got a unique design it's got a little push plunger at the top instead of just pouring it out or whatever you go you just keep pumping and it sucks it up, sucks it up from the bottom until it's saturated. And it does have a nice light citrus scent. And I just go over it again. Make sure I've got all of it covered. Men, I know you're thrilled <laughs> watching this, and I don't know if you're you're significant to others of the female persuasion. Um, do anything similar, mothers, daughters, grannies, etc. 
the females of the household. I don't know if they go through anything like this ritual or not. Um, I wasn't into skincare most of my life. It really started um, happening definitely after I was 50, and I'm hurtling towards 58 at this point, um, this next coming month. And uh, honestly, until uh, just a little bit before the global unrest, how we say, the medical global unrest, um, I didn't have a skincare routine. I took off my makeup, and that was probably about it. And um, it's just one of those things that as I started to watch YouTube and discover the beauty channels and my YouTube ladies that I thought, I want to try this. That might be good. And I have seen texture differences in my skin and, and clearing up of the, the red blotches that are just part of either my particular skin or my heritage. I have a lot of 55% is Irish and Scottish combined. Um, another 35% is Spanish. Uh, maybe 5% is Dutch and the other 13 to 18% um, is quote unquote Native American centered on Mexico. Um, so my family came over as conquistadors to the new world and you can pretty much understand how that happens. So um, I've got a very mixed heritage. Um, both my parents had dark hair and dark eyes. Um, but I do have more of my mother's skin coloration. I don't um, tan and brown like my father. Um, <laughs> I pretty much have the UK skin, <laughs> blinding white. Um, so I'll either freckle and burn <laughs> and blister, and then it doesn't tan at all. <laughs> so the next thing um, I would do then after I've done the micellar water to do a second cleanse is hydrating toner. Um, and toner's going to to firm everything up and, with the pores. Um, it's not really another cleanse. It's to, again, tighten everything up. And that's what a toner does pretty much. Um, there's other aspects of it. There's some hydrating toners. There's some kind that will help dry the skin up if you've got acne and an oil issues. So you have to pick your toners carefully. This one's just a little too drying for me. Not that much. It says it's hydrating rose. It's just got an overwhelming scent of witch hazel, which is an astringent. Um, and it is not terribly stingy, but I can... I can definitely feel a difference. So most of that is off except for maybe a little teeny residue right here. I don't wear mascara or anything, so that's just from the eyeliner. Um, and that's pretty much how I clean my face. I do not like standing over a sink with the water, splish splashing, getting into my bangs, getting it all in my clothes, getting it over the sink. Um, I just like it nice, neat, and contained. But the thing that I am going to do, and I'm not going to do it on camera because I want to go relax and watch a movie. <laughs> um, so I am going to start the night out by putting on foot suckies, foot masks, because my feet need love and tender care as well, and they're feeling particularly dry. So these are by um, a K beauty brand called Appeal, E P I E L L E, and. Everything Appeal is pretty much one of my favorite brands. I love their masks. I love their character masks. Um, and these nourishing foot masks are really great. They're hemp and rosemary and I think two or three different types of mint. There's apple, there's bamboo, there's uh, I think star anise. Definitely two different rounds of uh, hemp uh, cannabis uh, sativa, a.k.a. hemp seed oil. There's even vinegar in here. Um, so it's got a it's got a lot of really nice smelling stuff. So I'm gonna put those on my feet, and they stay on for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. The next thing is I'm gonna put on some eye patches because I definitely need a little bit of help with some of the puffiness that are there. And I'm gonna choose a Grace and Stella eye mask. Um, it's like an energy drink for your eyes. So put those on and then over that, one of my very, very favorite individual masks is by Honey Jarrett and it's Super Beauty Mask, Rose Blended with Jarrett Tea. And I've only ever tried the rose version. I know there's two other scents out there and it might be like green apple and honey for another one. There's a green package and there's a yellow package and I've never tried either. I would love to try them, but I don't want to buy a whole box and then realize that I don't like the scent. But I'm, I'm in the mood for rose. I, that's one of my favorite scents. And so this is one I'm going to put on my face. And the last thing, and it's the main reason why I'm not going to film me with the mask on tonight. 
a lip mask. Um, I'm not going to have anything to show for this. Like it's, they're not individually sealed. They come with a little scoop or spoon. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. A little scoop spoon um, to help pry them out. And they basically look like this little red lips and I hardly ever reach for these so I, I want to start using them before they dry out um, the problem is I have to keep my mouth shut while it's on oh dear me <laughs> now I am a woman who talks for a living my mama said I talked early and then never stopped <laughs> and I talk for a living I am a buyer and so I'm on the phone quite a lot, either with uh, the departments uh, that are out there. I work for a healthcare clinic, and we're about 20 to 23 buildings in a 100-mile-long county. And um, most of the stuff that I buy is for our surgery center, our pulmonary department, our nuclear medicine department, and our cancer center's um, rad onc department radiation oncology department so those are my specific um, duties and i'm cross-trained in all the, the other ones i've done several of the other buying realms before or helped out when somebody's on vacation so it was a busy day i think the largest purchase order that i've had to create today was two hundred and twelve thousand dollars um and that's for some sort of uh i think computer software upgrade and licensing so um, I got to finish that up tomorrow because I have to make sure the account coding is is correct before I release it. So I talk a lot, <laughs> and my lips need some loving care as well. So um, I'll either do um, a lip scrub before I put on the lip mask, which is like a, just a little sugar scrub, just a little sugar and oil basically, and like mint um, to prepare the lips, and then I'll put these on, and that's what I'm going to do off camera so I can go watch some relaxing show. Um, I think I've watched a little bit too much of Law and Order Special Victims Unit. <laughs> There's only so much of, you know, horrible, horrible crimes one can watch and I need to get fluffy. I did watch uh, one earlier with dinner. I watched America's Sweethearts with John Cusack. Oh, be still my heart. Dark hair, dark eyes, John Cusack. Ah! Um, it also had Julia Roberts, um, Catherine Zeta Jones, Seth Green, Billy Crystal, and Hank Azaria. And I can never remember the guy's first name, but the last name was Tucci. Um, so it's it's a funny, funny movie. And um, it's very sweet. It's a rom com. I love those. So I'm going to go pick another one and go relax. And that's it. That was my skincare routine. I can take my earrings off <laughs> now. And um, I guess that's going to do it for a night. So you watch this, the prep before the mask and uh, chit chat while I'm doing it and uh, that's it for now so thank you all so much for visiting with me again I really appreciate it here on Tea Time Adventures uh, not much an adventure tonight but it is hashtag mask a day for Thursday October 27th the 27th day in a row I have done some sort of mask and uh, yeah I guess that's it so thank you, everyone. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I'll see you around the net. Bye.